Good evening and welcome to another edition of Miked Up. UL football is getting ready for their season opener this weekend at Cajun Field, where they will host Southeastern. To preview the lines from Hammond America, WBRZ sports anchor Matt Trent joins us from Baton Rouge. Matt, let's just start with the Lions in general. SLU is ranked 16th in the FCS preseason poll after reaching the playoffs the last two full seasons. What stands out about this 2022 squad? Yeah, for me, what really stands out is how much talent this Southeastern team lost. And when you say that, you think about quantity, like, oh, man, they, had, they lost a lot of guys. They're going to have to fill a lot of holes. But in actuality, it was really just two players, Cole Kelly and wideout Austin Mitchell. Look, when you got two guys that produce at the level that those two guys did, you really do lose a lot. I mean, Cole Kelly, he's probably the most legendary quarterback, maybe even player in the program's history. Walter Payton Award winner, Southland Offensive Player of the Year, All-American, all conference pretty much every year that he was there and that's just a huge part of what that offense did and so you lose that and you have to fill it but I think that the backups and maybe guys that are going to have to step into bigger role they do have the talent in those second and third groups last year to step up in bigger and better roles this year. Terling's product Cole Kelly was a monster with Southeastern who was expected to replace him at QB with the Lions. Yeah, so this is an interesting kind of situation that they have in Hammond. Cole Kelly comes in and he sets every offensive record for the Lions. But in the backup role, it's Cephas Johnson last year. Now, he's a South Alabama transfer who came in and really has had to sit the majority of the time that he's been in Hammond. Now, he played last year and the year before that behind Kelly. And the thing is, with head coach Frank Selfo, he is a quarterback whisperer. He's pretty much all play, all the time played two quarterbacks in the five. Going, This is going into year five. Every single year he's played multiple quarterbacks. Cole Kelly has always had someone very capable behind him as the backup. So this year he steps into that role. And Cephas Johnson is so athletic. He runs about 6'5", 220 pounds. He's very athletic. And they used him in a lot of different ways last year. He would split out wide as a wide receiver. He would even play some running back. He would do some wildcat things. So I expect him to step into, obviously, a much bigger role this year, being the starter. But Frank said this past Monday that they're still going to use his versatility and his dynamic athleticism in a lot of different positions this season. Speaking of QB, Zy Alexander was a star quarterback at Lauraville High School locally and is now doing the same at cornerback for Southeastern. What's your expectations for him in 2022? Yeah, Zy Alexander is a guy who has just hit the ground running the moment he stepped on the campus out in Hammond. He was a freshman All-American last year. He's so talented. He's long and he's lean and he can move really well. But I think this year for him, he doesn't have to do everything because this secondary is so talented. And Frank Selfo has been very honest and transparent since last year about what they need to do defensively. Look, in the second round of the playoffs against JMU, they got the doors blown off of them. And it really not only hurt them and left a sour taste in their mouth, it really changed the entire defensive philosophy of this program. They went back and looked at things and they said, we need to be more physical up front and stop the run. And we need to be more physical on the backside and stopping the pass. I think in the past, Southeastern has said, okay, look, our defense is going to give up 59. We've got to go score 60. And that's a terrible way to go into every single game. Now they're looking at it as like we have a defense that can shut people out, that can really stifle opposing offenses.